Hello, welcome everybody to part two of jQuery templates with pagination. So in this video, we want to work with practically uh, how to implement uh, jQuery templating. And in order to do that, I just want to go to make a new folder in the server. And I uh, just want to try to refresh it. You can see here in page refreshing, we get a spinner here, loading, quick loading uh, image here. And uh, we're going to know how to do that. We're going to know how to do the pagination and how to load the data here in HTML through uh, template. So let's dig in the code. Uh, first thing here, we need uh, to include, as I said, we need to include uh, jQuery the jQuery template. So this is the HTML page that we have. Uh, you can see here we just defined HTML head and we just referenced the jQuery in order to get started. Second, we make a spinner splasher to display loading while page is in loading mode. So while page is loading, we want to display this spinner. And on page load, we're going to hide it away. So you can see here the, the CSS is the position is fixed. We're going to put it centralized on the screen. And uh, here you can see uh, the page has, a, has an anchor. And this anchor, uh, you know, is uh, has this... CSS styling and you can see here we have uh, set the background for the page as a dark blue um, uh, so uh, you can go a little bit here you can see uh, we just say window the load function spinner fade out so when the, when the page is loaded, complete load, we're going to hide away the spinner. So if you remove this code and try to refresh the page, you're going to refresh. You can see we got a loader going to be all the time on the, uh, on the page. So we need to hide it while page is loaded. We need to hide this uh, loading uh, spinner away. So it just basically... Uh, reference this uh, JavaScript uh, function in order to fade out while page is loaded. Uh, after that, we want to move to the next step. Here we include the jQuery template, the G JavaScript, and this is the uh, main jQuery template in order to work uh, with and bind the data source to the HTML and do the separation. Uh, after that, we need to include uh, the UTIL. Uh, JavaScript, this is a custom code that we wrote here in this page in order to uh, do some um, pagination and uh, do other things called uh, JavaScript uh, code injection. So we want to know how to do that right now. Uh, the first thing here, uh, we, let me just open this UTL, the JavaScript, and let me just go here. JavaScript UTI all all right. So first thing we have a, a JSON object here. JSON object can be um, taken from the server or can you can define it here uh, in the code. So this is defined in the code directly. You can reference a server um, JavaScript object, but here uh, JSON object here just define it manually. Um, we have a function called pagination. We're going to reference this pagination function in order to paginate the data into pages. All right, so we're going to see this right in the next uh, few minutes. Here we have a function called inject. And inject function going to, uh, you know, you're going to take an HTML file and put it inside your page. So you can include anything in your document uh, by using this function called inject. So we're going to take a file, inject it into the place. So place here, by default, it's head. You can define the place and you can inject it wherever you want. Uh, we have a random string. This function is used to avoid the caching for the pages. So each time we're going to lo load this file, it's going to be a new page. So that's why I added this random to the get request for the page. Uh, back to the code here, uh, back to the index page. Let me just continue. Uh, 
uh, we just got this is the main document loader for our page where we define uh, how to inject the page with a CSS with a JavaScript or with HTML this is inject method and this is other function here that's gonna call the template so we got just gonna call the last sign article template and we're just gonna call template article which is the articles object here that we see in uh, this is the object the data so we just want to bind this data into this template and append this bonded template to the content to the place so we got a content dev here you can see this is the content it contains paragraph each paragraph uh, has title has um, as you can see here in the object each paragraph has title so you, we just print out title here or you can print out something else like um, details like uh, uh, you know content uh, title according whether an object has content or not so for example this object doesn't has uh, you know doesn't have any uh, content or details whether this object yes contains so you just need to reference the container in order to uh, you know the, to uh, just apply the template and we have finally uh, after we just load in the template uh, we just call the pagination method and pagination method is the responsible method to do the pagination and that's why you're going to see uh, this pagination here. We just move from 4 to 5 to 6 to 9 and so forth. And, uh, okay. So pretty much, let me, uh, I just explained to you, uh, um, you know, just quick hint. Uh, we just got this script is responsible for uh, calling uh, the, the workflow of the page. Here we just define the script, uh, the, the main template that we have. So we just reference the, uh, the title for uh, the, uh, the, you know, the data source. So we got a list of articles. So we just want to print out uh, the title of the articles here in, by using ID for the article template and by using the type X jQuery template. And Back to the body here in step number eight, we got the spinner location, uh, which is, you know, you see this loading div here, uh, while page is loaded. And we got an, a, hidden field, a hidden field here for current page, a hidden field here for show per page. So we're going to know why we do we need these two hidden fields here. The content we said we talked about content, which is the main container for the template, and here we talking about pagination. We need these pagination numbers here because we can navigate from uh, one one page into another. So uh, the main JavaScript function is 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 responsible responsible to do all that is the UTIL S here, which we define the main article object, and we have this. Uh, function for the pagination and when we're talking about pagination we need to define some variables uh, we need to show per page we need how many items we need do we need to display per page in this case we display one two three four five page elements per page and how we need the total number of items so in this case maybe we got uh, five times nine is 45 so we got 41 elements here and uh, we we need a total number in order to know how many pages so 41 uh, divided by if you go open calculator type 41 uh, divided by 5 it's 8.2 so we take the seal so we seal up Seal up mean that we got nine, so we got nine pages. So that's why you can see here we got nine pages. So how that is done here? We take the number of pages, math seal, number of items over show show per page, and we're gonna do that. So by default, it's gonna the first number is gonna be zero. So the current page, the hidden field that we saw is um, is zero, uh, and the the show per page 
which is the total number of pages and each page is equal to 5 by default it's we're gonna start it from there after that we need to uh, make the navigation so you saw this navigation we have previous we have the numbers we have next uh, so first thing we just define previous and the previous gonna uh, call a previous function so previous function uh, gonna go minus one you know we're just gonna go to minus one the current uh, the current page so if we are in nine we just click previous we're gonna go eight we're gonna go seven and so forth and the next next uh, function is gonna go the opposite we're just gonna add one plus so we just want to move from five to six from seven uh, eight and so forth so if we click from eight, click three, we're just gonna go directly to three because we called other function, and this other function is 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 called go to page. So we have go to page function. We just give it the page number. So we're just gonna move directly to that page, and we want to talk right now about slicing. Slicing is the prob process that we use here in order to um, move from one page into another. We do slicing. And the slicing is supported in jQuery. Um, so let me just continue here. We add previous. We got we add here the next button, and you can see here we take the number of pages and we just move across them iteratively. Uh, so we move here from uh, zero from one to nine. Um, we move to next here. We just you know give it the navigation. Uh, print out here the navigation, the navigation div, the pagination navigation. Um, we add the class active, so that's why you're gonna see here this is a pl uh, blue because it's active. We add it to class. Uh, we can see here um, content, children, display them because we need to hide them all, then display them in slides. So I hide all the content. After that, I take the content and slice them into pieces, into pages. So I got 40, 41, I slice them into fives. So I got nine fives. So uh, this is the way that how I do that. So I first thing on, on, on the first time I just started from zero. So I just, the first slice is from zero to five. So I display from zero to five and I display them as a block. So that's why when you refresh the page, you're gonna see we just started from zero to five. We got the first five elements. Um, in the next step, when I click into number two, I call function called go to page. And go to page is gonna uh, go to the next step. So I'm just gonna click parse integer for show, uh, show per page the value. I just wanna move to this page. And I know that show per page is five, so it's five. And start from, I take the page number, and page number is related to each of the index of the elements here. So two, the page number is gonna be one. So I just take one here from this uh, function here, you can see, I just take one here, and this one, is equal to one times five. So, all right, I just start from five. Right now, I just start not from zero, from five. And I start from five. And end on five plus five, I just wanna end up with 10. So five to 10, I just gonna display this element from five to 10. I move a little bit to three. Three is equal to, um, you know, I just, 10 to 15, so this is from 10 to 15 according to the uh, equation, and so forth. So we do the same way that we do the slice, and we just display uh, the, you know, the blue active uh, button to the selected element, and the current page, the val, which is the hidden field, we're gonna change it in order to continue. Um, I don't want to explain a lot about injection because I, I, I don't use it, but this is the way how we inject uh, any code to HTML page. All right, um, this is pretty much the code is in GitHub, so you can go to this uh, location, you can find the source there.
Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.